And uh, this is uh, Noah Lyles of the United States, only 20, young man. We saw him win one of the races earlier on this season. They reckon he's going to be the next uh, big man, set a new 300 meter world indoor record in March this year. Christophe Lemaitre of France, four times the European champion, twice at 100, once at 200, and once at 4x1. He's been there and rereabouts. Well, Mitchell Blake, well, it was the last leg of that British 4x100 meters relay when he held off Christian, Christoph T uh, Coleman. Fabulous, fabulous run. And there's Amir Webb of the United States from their trials in the 20 9 into a very strong headwind. And here is the world champion. Ramil Guliev of uh, Turkey. He was eighth in the Olympics, but my goodness me, won the world title well. And this is Aaron Brown of Canada. He's got a 20.3 this season, incidentally. And Darnell Hughes of uh, Great Britain in uh, lane three. They're not using lane one, incidentally. And then right on the inside, Rashid Dwyer of Jamaica. He's got the tight inside bend with him. He's got a season's best of 20.11. That was in Kingston. Um, semi-finalist in the World Championships. But uh, Guliev, well, I wonder if he can prevail here as well. He's held off the very best time and time again. So. Wire, Hughes, Brown, Guliev, Webb, Mitchell Blake, Amit, and The men's 200. Well, a metro go off quickly around the outside in the second from the outside. Webb going well of the United States just outside Guliev as they come into the straight now. It's very, very strong indeed. And it looks like um, near Webb at the moment. And near Webb and right on the outside, Lyles going strongly. And Lyles could take this. Does Lyles get it? I think it was very close between him and Amir Webb and Guliev. We'll have to see, but Lyles right on the outside, the young American. I wonder whether he did get that. He came through very strongly, or did Webb get it? That was very, very close, was it? It's a photo finish between the first three, Guliev, Lyles, and Lyles has been given it. Lyles got it. 20 seconds, dead. The youngster got it. Webb in second. Guliev, I think, is in third. There's a, still a photo finish. Yes, he's in third. So 20 seconds. 20.01, 20.02, and Lyles really struggled a little bit. Well, his home straight, fabulous. His transition into the home straight was sensational. He attacked it, didn't he? And right from the outside, held off those lanes on the inside. Amir Webb, who of course won the American title with 20.09. There it goes, look, Lyle, Webb, Guliev in that order, but it took a photograph, it really did. Well, last twice the World Junior Champion. I said that they reckon that he's America's next Olympic sprint sensation, Tim, and I think, look how far he is down. Well, there he is to extreme left of picture. Stuart, I saw that indoor 300 meters world record in March in Albuquerque in the USA. He was mighty impressive. He's got great strength, and that's what he uses here over the last 10 or 15 strides. Just holds his form, dips well at the line, real presence of mind. He's got all the makings of a future champion when it really matters, this young man. He's only 20 years old, and the 200 takes a lot of experience to get right, takes a lot of strength, too, to last well, hold your form over those last 15 meters. But he did that extremely well there, this young man, who in Shanghai at the beginning of the summer, let's not forget, ran 90. 19.90 as a teenager, and he is down there, a fabulous field, including, of course, the newly crowned world champion, Guliev. Wonderful, wonderful race.